Come one, come all. Welcome to the Catholic Podcast, Truth Still Matters. The human person is made for truth, despite this dictatorship of relativism we breathe every day. This podcast exists in the stream of the new evangelization, championed by St. Pope John Paul the Great, and continue with Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI and Pope Francis. We will have the opportunity to learn and reflect on the timeless truths revealed by God and deposited in the Catholic Church. If you're looking for apologetics or theology that can be applied to your life right now, you've found a new home. Stop drowning in the world of opinion. Embrace yourselves for truth still matters. I have made it back to the studio for another episode of Truth Still Matters. I just want to thank you for taking the time to download, to subscribe, to tweet, to Facebook, to Pinterest, to whatever you do to spread the word about this podcast. I truly enjoy pouring my heart into it. And if you're getting anything out of it, if you're getting a lot out of it, share it with your neighbor. I totally appreciate it, that God's name might be lifted up forever and ever. We've got a good vodcast for you today. As human beings, we always ask the deeper questions, questions that deal with where do we come from? Why are we here? These questions take us outside of our immediate needs. We are not simply animals. We are human persons created with a transcendent end. In other words, we are created to be in union with another, ultimately God. And the reason for our existence has been communicated to us in the book of Genesis chapter one in the seven day creation account. Really? Oh yeah. Stay tuned. Genesis 1, in a very poetic and artistic way, describes the very reason why you and I exist. It puts focus on human beings and the dignity that we possess. St. John Paul the Great, in many of his writings, echo this sentiment that society rises and falls based on its notion of the human person we have to have a clear understanding of the nature of what it means to be human and that is communicated to us in chapter one in the creation account in Genesis now most of the time people approach Genesis to obtain science from it and if they don't get science from it, they want to throw Genesis 1 under the bus. An important thing to remember is the kind of writing you're dealing with. Because that literary genre or form will help direct the way a person reads the text. Genesis 1 was never intended to be a scientific account of creation. It's poetry inspired poetry and once we attempt to understand through personal study and exegesis when we dig deep to discover the author's intention behind Genesis 1 the theological and sweet truths presented by Genesis come to life and it is quite amazing but we must not be guilty of what C.S. Lewis calls a chronological snobbery. Yes, Genesis 1 was written by primitive people, but let's not take primitive as meaning less than. Let's take primitive as meaning the first. 
Genesis 1 describes creation happening in six days. And the six day account of creation is in direct response to a problem that the author of Genesis presents. That problem is the earth was without form and void. It had no structure and nothing to fill the structures. The first three days take care of the formlessness problem. The structures are created or the realms. Day one, day and night. Day two, the sky and the sea. Day three, land and vegetation. The next three days takes care of the void problem. The day and night is filled with the moon and the sun. The sea and the sky are filled with the birds and the fish. And the land is filled with animals and finally human beings. Now human beings are made in the image and likeness of God, the text tells us. And what does this mean? Well, traditionally, it's been seen as human beings having an intellect and a will, which is very important. But if you skip ahead in Genesis chapter 5, you see image and likeness being used again. And it describes Seth being made in the image and likeness of Adam, which describes a family relationship. Human beings now are made in the image and likeness of God. God is intending for us to be his family. And this family theme is not just communicated through human beings being made in the image and likeness of God. The fact that God creates in six days and then rests on the seventh is very telling. Now, you and I both know that God does not get tired. So why does the author of Genesis present God as resting? Okay, this is a kind of anthropomorphism where you have a human characteristics kind of portrayed onto God. But something deeper is being communicated by God resting on the seventh day. He is setting it apart. He is consecrating it. It is the end goal or purpose for the first six days. And what is the purpose of the first six days? To rest in the family of God. Family is indirectly communicated to us by the author's use of the number seven. Now, according to our minds, we're like, how does seven communicate a family bond? Listen. What was at the heart of a family bond or a covenant was the swearing of an oath. The swearing of an oath where God says, I will be your God and you will be my people. At the heart of a covenant, you have an exchange of life whereby a family bond is made. That's what happens when people get married. They say the I do at the altar, which is what? A swearing of an oath. I I will give you myself, my whole self, in good times and in bad. There's an exchange of selves and a new family is produced through a covenant. Covenant is enacted through swearing an oath. Now the Hebrew word for swearing an oath was seven or Shiva. We see this clearly in Abraham's covenant with Abimelech. An oath is sworn by the use of seven lambs. Why was seven invoked? Because seven is the word to swear an oath, which is at the heart of a covenant. With God resting on the seventh day, he's swearing an oath. He's making a covenant with creation, whereby you and I are not just creatures anymore. We are children of God. God is not just creator anymore. He is now father. And he has the power to adopt us as his sons and daughters. 
as it says in 2 Peter 1 4 that we are called to be partakers of the divine life God shares his life with us and by virtue of that sharing he enables us to cry out Abba or Father Jesus is the son by nature but you and I with the pouring out of the spirit become his adopted children and how does that reflect on our day-to-day -day lives it's not just an indication of one day that needs to be set apart in order to rest in the family of God that resting day points to the end of every activity that you and I are involved in whether we're swimming or studying or on the court or on the field or speaking or sweeping a floor or caring for a baby or designing architectural plans whatever we're doing if it's not headed if it doesn't have the purpose of resting in the family of God if it doesn't have the purpose of living out the call to be a child of God then it is worthless God has given us himself not that we become theologians I heard once before but so that we become children that we might live and move and have our very beings in him it is by his grace that we can block out all distractions and complications and focus on the way the truth and the life and we do that by the power and person of the Holy Spirit this is why we are alive to be a child of God to rest in his bosom as his family and all of this is communicated to us by Genesis chapter 1 that inspired poem of creation which ends with God resting on the seventh day. It is not by coincidence that God's name that's used in chapter one is Elohim, Elohim, which is the generic term for God. As soon as he covenants himself with creation, as soon as he sevens himself with creation, whereby a family is formed, the second chapter of Genesis identifies God not just as Elohim, but by his covenant name, Lord God or Yahweh. We are called to be the family of God. Pass this on. But before you pass it on, let it penetrate into your heart that you might be that son or daughter that God is calling you to be. May God bless and keep you all the days of your life. Amen. Say, come on to.